and thou, thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow. Wow. Shall thou bring forth children yeah. and thy desire shall be to do that with thy husband and he shall rule over thee. Mm -hmm. And it's an Adam, he said, because thou hast parted the divorce of thy wife, and thou hast eaten of the tree which I commanded thee, saying, if thou eat of it, cursed is the ground of thy sake, and sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and bristles shall it bring forth to thee. And thou shalt eat the herb of the I'll be coming in, in the sweat of thy face, thou shalt eat bread till thou return to the ground. For out with thou of dust, thou will take it until dust shall thou return. And Adam called his wife name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord make coats of skin and clothes them. Yeah. What side are you on? I don't know. They, they'll be on my side. So I don't know what's wrong with these people. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Now, I don't know what I'm doing here. I came to get me a few of y'all. Y'all just don't know it yet. But I came to get a few of you. Don't even worry about it. Somebody be going home with me tonight. Act like y'all don't do nothing. Hey, I know you do something. You just don't know it yet. I'm all around you. All you got to do is turn your head. I'll be there waiting for you. If I go out of you, I'm going to come back and I'm going to be seven times worse. Yeah. What y'all got to say now? <laughs> I don't mind sitting there. Yeah, well, sure, y'all probably look at me like I'm a fool. I think y'all want <laughs> Woo. Come on with me. I can sit here. You see you don't. Act <laughs> two, scene two, Sodom and Gomorrah. What love got to do with it? Dancer, Lucretia Johnson. What love got to do with it? I'm gonna tell y'all what love got to do with it. Y'all been out to the club. Y'all take your the man take his home with him. These days, the man take man home with him. I really got y'all messed up, though. So, I'm just sleeping with women. And then y'all want to call me sick. Got it, got it. All right.
waxed hot. Oh! And he cast the tables out of his hands. Yeah. And he break them beneath the mountain. Well, they bother me. Now when Moses came near the camp, and he saw the calf and the people dancing. Oh, I he trust told no those people not to God. He came very angry. He, he threw came the table angry. out of his hands. Yeah. And on these tables was the written word of God. Written on both sides of the table. Both sides. Given to Moses for instruction to give to to give for instruction real. to his people. Well, you see what he got with that. Let him know what to do and how they should live. But before Moses could give the instruction to his people, before he could give instruction to his people, his anger caused him to break hey. to break the tables. But Moses was a man of God. And he strongly believed that thou should serve the Lord thy God and him only. So when he saw these people in the camp worshiping this false night of God, worshiping this golden calf, and making it their God, he lost it. And he lost sight on what he was doing. And he broke the tables of God's instruction. Failing to control, failing to keep control of his anger, amen? Did he queue up? Verse 20 reads. He took the calf which they had let, which they had made and burnt it in the fire and ground it to powder and strung it up on the waters and made them to drink of it. And Moses said, Now, since you want to make this calf your God, here, take it and drink it. Verse 21 reads, And Moses said unto Aaron, What did this people do unto me? Thou hast brought so great a sin upon them. It's not that these people had did anything to the, the earth, did anything to these people. These people had brought sin upon themselves by doing so many mischievous things. But Moses was gone so long, and delayed to come down from off the mountain, that the people went crazy and started doing all sorts of things. And Satan, you was there. They started doing all sorts of mischievous things. Yeah. They did not know what has become of this Moses. And Aaron said, Let not thy anger of my Lord wax hot. Thou knowest the people, and they are set on this chief. Aaron is telling Moses, You know these people got a bad mind. You know they're set on doing wrong. Huh? These people came. These people were naked, doing all sorts of things. As men with men, women with women. And they were murdering each other and they were raping one another. And Moses was very angry at these people. And Aaron said to Moses, God knows the people are set on this tree. In other words, these people are full of sin and their mind is set on doing wrong. But will you forgive them? And he came to Moses on behalf of his people, basically asking for forgiveness. Amen? Amen. Verse 23 reads, for he said unto me, make us God. These were the people talking to her. Say, make us a God who shall go before us. <laughs> and for this Moses, the man that brought us out of Egypt, we walk not. He said, we do not know what become of him. <laughs> so make us, come make us a God who will go before us. Moses was gone so long, they did not know what, what, if he was coming back or not. And they lost faith. And they lost respect for God and of themselves. And they started to lose hope. <laughs> These people wanted a God. They wanted a leader to lead them. Amen? Amen. Amen. Verse 24 reads, And I said unto them, Whosoever had any gold, let them break it off. So they give it me. Then I cast it into the fire, and they came up and came out this calf, richly made of gold. They built an altar before it and worshipped it as their God. And to Moses came and took it and took the golden calf and burnt it in the fire. Now Moses was making a point to the people that we should serve the Lord thy God, and Him only shall we serve. Yeah. And we heard the word of God, and we heard the word of Moses trying to give us instructions on how we should live, amen? <laughs> amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Many people today, in today's 
today's world yeah. are still worshiping false and light of gods, ah, doing ah, all sorts ah, of mischievous ah, things, bringing sin upon themselves, and they, yes, and they yes, too yes, will be yes, cast yes, into yes, the fire yes, 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 if they did not repent. All right. All right. Uh -huh. They turn from their wicked ways, amen. Uh -huh. And Satan was there in the camp. Satan was there in the camp. Right here. Right here. Right here. And he stepped his, <laughs> he stepped his approval of all the fussing, mm -hmm. fighting, mm -hmm. arguing, mm -hmm. complaining, confusing. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's been misusing and misleading God's people down through the years. And he's still among us today. In very camps around the world. Still playing with people's minds. Watch mm -hmm. out. Uh, still tying their hands behind their back. Blinding their eyes. Blinding the eyes of God's people. So they will not see what God has in store for them. But I'm ready to tell you, we serve an almighty, a true and almighty, powerful God, amen? Amen. 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 And when you step into the camp, Satan must back. Meaning, he must flee. Enemy Satan, the, the adversary, is defeated. And we have the victory in Jesus. In Jesus Christ, King of Kings. King of Kings. Lord of Lords. And whose side are you on, him, man? Amen. 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 Amen.